here we go tricks up but this is a subtraction between x squared and something 3 is the same as square root of 3 squared so the first step we take is let x being equal to square root of 3 and we use secant so secant theta when we have a subtraction if the x is going first then yeah we put secant and we see dx will be square root of 3 secant theta times tangent theta d theta. Take this integral to the theta world and see what happens. Here we have the integral square root x is square root of 3 secant theta. And then we have to square that minus 3 over x is that, so square root of 3 secant theta and then dx is that square root of 3 secant theta tangent theta d theta some good news for you guys this and that can cancel this and that can cancel pretty good i would say uh, what do we do next though check this out let's do this in your head this is 3 minus 3 right so we can factor out the 3 but it's inside of the square root so it's a constant multiple so we can factor that out all the way at the front guess what this right here will give us tangent because c can square theta minus 1 is tangent square in the square root so it's just tangent times another tangent is tangent square yeah tangent square theta like that so uh not so bad i would say but how do we integrate tangent square theta though just trick identity this right here secant square theta minus one so this right here becomes let me write that let me just write this out this is square root of three integral this right here change that to secant square theta minus one in the theta world and we're ready ladies and gentlemen this right here is square root of three and put on parentheses for the resolved integration integrating this we get tangent theta integrating minus one in the theta world is minus theta okay now we will have to go back to the x world look at this we know secant theta equals x over square root of three okay draw the triangle a triangle here and then the theta here secant is x over square root of three hypotenuse over adjacent the opposite is the square root of this thing so x squared minus this thing squared so square root of three square now to get tangent let's see we get uh, let me put yeah, let me put this down here we get square root of three and then tangent is this over that so we get square root of x squared minus three over square root of three minus hmm we have theta well theta is just going to be the inverse right the inverse secant of x over square root of three the answer looks pretty crazy but this is the answer yeah and of course we can clean this up a little bit distribute the square root of three so we get square root of x squared minus three and then minus square root of three do not cancel this entire so we have this on the at the front right here and then inverse secant of x over square root of three and then we are done plus c 